Howdy folks and welcome to Ark Rage. I'm a little bit late, day late, uh, doing the recording on this. It is time for the Autumn Lore Festival, which takes place in Lilliet Hills. Now, if you don't know where that is, that is right up here on the uh, Nuian continent. So, all of you uh, Haranians, you can come over here to do it. Uh, it is a festival period, which means that you will be safe. You can't be attacked in this zone. Alright. Real simple stuff. Amazingly simple stuff. Uh, you want to come to Windshade, uh, which is where the community center is. It's kind of south uh, southwest of the center of the map. Uh, and then you're going to go south along the road, uh, away from that huge mountain that's in the background. Uh, and you're going to see this little lady right here, alright? She's, uh, basically your quest launcher. You go ahead and accept the quest from her, and then you're going to go across the river. Wait, or stream, I guess, at this point. Uh, come over here, and we'll go ahead and dismount. To this guy, go ahead and turn in and accept the new quest and go around picking up and uh, completing the quests that are around here. This one is a real easy one. Uh, let's see, there's that. You just right click on that and done. Okay, that's for that was his quest. Um, then there's this one that's right here. Go ahead and accept that quest. This one's also easy. You find these uh, dozing men and women, and you just dump a bucket of water on them. That's it. You just gotta do three of them. And completed. Alright. Turn that in. Uh, let's come over to this guy, and we're going to turn in the quest over here. Uh, Alright. There's that. And then uh, the other quest that you have is the Collect Glowing Ore piece. They're all over back here. And I'm assuming they respawn fairly quickly. It takes a little while to mine them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, just start mining. I mean, you see how slow you move. Ugh, so painful. And I've got Dawn's Drop on right now. My, uh, my Dawn's Drop gear is on. Uh it's not affecting the mining speed so it doesn't matter what your mining proficiency is at you can mine these and it's going to take a while uh so let me just go ahead and get these last two and, and that's that all right so who was it that gave me this quest i think it's the one that's in front of this house uh let's come over here and turn the quest back into her And turned in. Oh, she's got another one. What is this one? Oh, craft the storage jar. Just go ahead and right click it right there in front of her. Uh, turn it in, and you're done. That's it. Now, if you take a look up here, it is uh, 4:15 p.m. in game. That's not server time. That's game time. When it gets to 8 p.m you're going to have a couple more quests that you can do that are going to be right over here. And it's going to be uh, this guy right here, or girl, I guess. Uh, you're going to talk to that one. And uh, I think it's just a pick up and turn in quest. And then there's going to be a chicken right here. And the chicken has a quest for you too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go for now. And I will come back when the chicken is up. All right, I'm back, but it's still a little bit early. It is now uh, 7.30 p.m. game time. Uh, time in game is one-sixth real time, so it's not going to take long to get there. The reason you're doing all this is, uh, first of all, this quest right here will give you the storyteller title, uh, which is plus 10,000 proficiency for printing, handicrafts, and artistry, okay? Uh, in order to get that, you need uh, 
50 of these uh, festival coins, which are, uh, where are they? These guys right here. All right, you get one or two of these for every quest you complete, 11 per day, okay? Uh, the other thing that you're trying to do is this quest right here, which will give you 30 coins whenever you do it, but it's going to cost you 100 coins to complete it. Uh, and it's making this thing right here. You need 100 festival coins to make the uh, uh, Page Master's storage chest. And it's for storing books. What kind of books exactly? I don't know. I've never had one of these before. So I'm going to actually try and complete this during the festival and get this done. Uh, you can also make one of these guys, uh, 140 slot uh, chest, basically, that you can put on your house, or 130 slot, whichever. Uh, you have to have the new, uh, Nuri Forest Lumber, though, uh, and one of these guys, which it's just... That needs the River Festival coins, stuff like that. There's also all these different uh, decoration pieces that you can put in your house. Uh, there's, uh, let's see here, like this. This is a book that you can place in the home. That's what all these are. These are shelves that you can place in the home. Uh, just some neat little deco stuff. That's all it is. It's, it's not anything major. Uh, the biggest thing is probably the title, uh, which you'll get from getting uh, 50 of the festival coins. Now, we are getting close, so I'm going to just hold for just a minute more, or a couple minutes more, and uh, wait for it to get to 8 p.m. game time. It shouldn't take too long. I'll be right back. As you can see, there are quite a few people over here waiting for 8 p.m. Uh, and it's 20 seconds away. Uh, so, I just went ahead and brought you back. But just, there's, a, there's a few people over here. They're waiting uh, because as soon as uh, 8 p.m. rolls around, we'll be able to finish off these last uh, couple of quests and be done with it for today it's real quick and easy there it is uh, so we'll go ahead and accept that uh, and we'll oh I need to calm the children so we'll come over here got to get close enough to them and play the instrument like that like that And he's already targeted that one. They've already targeted that one, so I'll go to this one. And we'll hit this kid. Because you only need to do three kids. Alright, done. Alright, let's go back up here. Uh, as slowly as we can. We'll go ahead and turn this in. Oh, and that was it. The chicken didn't pop up with a quest. Oh, you naughty hen. The hen's supposed to have a quest. Or maybe that's just the first day. Maybe that's all it was. So that's uh, 11 of the tokens on the first day and 10 every day after that. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, so that's all there is to it. I mean, it's real easy stuff. You don't have to leave the area. The furthest you have to go is those children over there. Um, whenever you're doing the uh, hen's quest... Uh, basically, the chick has taken the storybook and uh, lost it. And it was, for me, just right here. Uh, right in this little spot here. Go up to it, right-click it, you're done. Uh, go back, turn in the quest to the chicken. But, yeah, that's it. Real simple stuff. Uh, go ahead and do it. It only takes a few minutes of your time if you're close to the 8 p.m. time. Now, here's the thing is you saw that the NPCs changed whenever it got to 8 p.m. So what that means is the quests that I did before 8 p.m. were not available. So in game time, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. is one set of quests, and then 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. is this NPC right here and the chicken, okay? 
So keep that in mind. Uh, pay attention to the end game time. It's up here in the uh, top right corner. It goes on a 24 hour clock. So I'm not going to go into detailing how to read that. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, found it helpful, please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye now.